I was encouraged by my family. It was no problem for me to be going into the arts. Um, until later they got a bit concerned when they thought I really did want to be an artist. I'm Georgia Russell, I am an artist. I, I work with um, two-dimensional and three-dimensional pieces. Um, I am Scottish but live in France. I've been in France now for 10 or so years. My mother was a um, school teacher and my father an architect. Um, my, my auntie, uh, uh, she, she was, when she was young she went to art school. So she was one of the only girls um, to go to art school in, in Aberdeen in Scotland at that time. Um, so I think I always had a slightly artistic uh, um, edge to the family, um, but also a very practical edge to the family. Um, my grandfather was a jazz musician um, and my uh, grandmothers knitted a lot and uh, worked in the woolen mill in, uh, in Scotland, in, in Elgin. There's a very famous woolen mill there, um, which is beautiful to see with all the woolen bobbins um, and all the colours and all the tartan making. Um, so now, now that I think of it now, uh, very far on in my career or my life, that I'm not so surprised in seeing it come through in my work um, quite strongly sometimes. I think um, I always, even from a young age, I was always enjoyed making things. Um, my parents bought an old uh, mill in Scotland and uh, renovated it. And since the age of three, I was always I was kind of on a building site a lot of the time growing up, and um, for a few years. And apparently, I would make things with a hammer and nail, and um, play outside, and, and love kind of just creating and making things. And then I was always drawing, really. Um, I, even from maybe 12 to 15, I would be drawing portraits of my grandparents or trying to have sketchbooks. Um, and it was just obvious that I wanted to do something artistic. Um, and as I'd had my auntie go to art school, I knew that it was a possibility that I could hopefully do that too. Thanks to my parents, they took us to um, Birmingham and it was a Roscoe show. I think I was 15 or something and I didn't, you know, I'd always seen small paintings or old paintings in the museums but this was really the first contemporary show that I'd seen and I, I didn't realise the effect that art could have on you physically and, you know, and being in front of a Roscoe was like being in front of a church stained glass window or a, or a cathedral or something and um, yeah and even even through this abstract art I decided that something was happening with the colour and the experience of it all that really excited me um, and stayed in my mind and it still is very fresh in my mind I think. Even at art school, uh, my first art school in Aberdeen uh, I did my BA in fine arts and printmaking. I, I never really believed I could become um, an artist. It was always a kind of far away dream that um, it was other people that became artists. It wouldn't really be me. But then, um, so I was, I was supposed to go to, to do a year of teacher training after my BA. And I actually didn't get accepted for that. Um, and Maybe it was because I talked about Egan Scheele a lot in my interview and I was, <laughs> I don't know if, if that's really children's kind of <laughs> stuff. But anyway, I didn't get accepted and it was quite a good thing because I didn't really want to do that. I mean, I really wanted to go to do my uh, master's in London at the Royal College of Art because I'd heard about the Royal College of Art and lots of my um, the artists that I loved, like Hockney and all these people had gone to Royal College. But th that was when my family were a bit reticent of me leaving at 20 and going to live in London and do my master's and probably be an artist and not earn any money and have a bohemian life. And I, I don't think they liked that idea. But um, so I stayed at home for a year and I worked on my own in the di my parents' dining room. And um, after graduating, because I, I didn't have a plan, I hadn't, 
applied yet for the masters and I'd been refused for teacher training. So I transformed my parents' dining room into my studio and worked in a, a print workshop in Aberdeen as well. And I just worked as, in bars and I worked in a furniture shop and did a new portfolio to apply for the Royal College of Art. So that was a whole year really of working on my own and for me it was no problem to work every day and just I was painting and printmaking and doing loads of things you know I, I never stopped working it wasn't it was wasn't a problem so I made a big portfolio for going to London and was really happy when I got accepted to have an interview in London so I went down to London um, had the interview at the Royal College and then um, one day received a letter saying that I'd been accepted to do the Master of Arts, which was a two-year course at the time in London at the Royal College. And that was really when I saw that things could actually you know, happen <laughs> and that people could be artists and that my mentors or, or professors um, were artists. And there was a whole new discussion and a more in-depth discussion about art and having all the huge, muse the big museums at your feet. And it was really um, fantastic. It was a really great time.